Since Square XY took my attention by a small storm, I wanted to check out the Trunksy X5 SA2E. Trunksy has been blessed with quite a few fans and quite a few haters, so the sentiment about the Trunksy quality is split. And I dare you to do your due diligence before you make your decision to buy a Trunksy or any 3D printer for that matter. The not so recent release of the Trunksy X5 SA Pro came with reviews where people had mixed feelings. But regardless of the sentiment out there, Trunksy is pushing on and the X5 SA2E can 3D print in dual color. So let's get acquainted with the most important features of the Trunksy X5 SA2E. The most important is the ultra quiet Trinamic TMC2225 stepper controller drivers. Second best thing is the power supply which it packs the expected 15 amps punch at 24 volts and 360 watts. The temperature goes up to 100 degrees Celsius on the bed and 275 degrees Celsius on the nozzle. And of course the main feature is the 2-in-1 extrusion. And this dual extrusion is supported by two Titan remote extruders with two filament detectors but one single nozzle. So from this perspective you will have to waste a bit of filament to gain in precision. The advantage of the single nozzle is that you do not have to complicate your math and printing profiles with distances in between the two nozzles, if there would be two. In addition, this 3D printer comes with auto bed leveling and mesh bed leveling and a nice volume of 300 by 300 by 400 millimeters. Or a volume of 330 by 330 by 400 millimeters. And you may have to actually double check online because there's a discrepancy in the presentations on different websites. On the specification sheet, this 3D printer looks great. But my skepticism tells me that most problems will occur perhaps at the hot end with two filaments probably getting tangled in the path. In addition, the switching in between the two filaments and the travel for the deposit of the in-between collars will add a significant time to any 3D print. Also, unlike the X5 SA Pro, this dual extruder Trunksy is using regular rollers on V-slot rails, so no linear rails for this one. I think the only advantage of linear rails is that they do not require fine-tuning like the rollers on V-slot rails. Overall, the X5 SA2E may require some precise retraction settings and better foster fittings that keep the Bowden tubes tightly in place. This should be done to prevent blobs from forming and jamming the entire system. And that is the extrusion system. And if you're wondering what my impulse purchase stocks are doing, they just bounced back to zero from losing me about $60 for the last two weeks. In addition, I got an email from eBold that you can deposit $2,000 for a short period of time and they will give you 5 stocks at random from $5 to $1,000. So now returning to 3D printing. I wanted to make you aware that Prusa is working on a Prusa XL 40 by 40 by 40 centimeters volume, which is 400 by 400 by 400 millimeters volume. And it is a Core XY. And it also may be compatible with the Prusa multi-material adapter. But until then, I bid thee, mon ami's farewell and adieu.